feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's in your Hello and welcome back to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. We had a great guest today, Sean Graham, of the owner of 12 Hour Week. Uh, my name is Lee Heisman with my co-host Chris Hanks, the executive director of the KSU Entrepreneurship Center, and our constant guest, Joey Roos from the KSU Entrepreneurship Center. What was so exciting about our show today is it's our 100th episode. So we had a big party, and you really have to listen to the show in its entirety to hear all the great content that we talked about, about our past 100 shows, as well as all the information Sean brought to the table. So Sean, tell us about your business, how you kind of specialize in the fitness world of providing input to help people grow their businesses. Mm. Right. So we, um, thank you for that. We, uh, we work in that niche of health clubs, fitness centers, and so forth. And we really try to help them become relationship focused. That whole industry has become, come on in, pay 25 bucks. God makes his commission, no service. And the attrition rate is just off the charts in that industry. So we really try to work with owners and operators on how to help their staff really build relationships using technology and good old-fashioned shaking hands and meeting people at the club every day. We found it to be very, very good for the bottom line. So um, the whole concept of a 12-hour week, though, um, mm. when you have to invest so much in shaking hands in those relationships and plus the burdens of business ownership, I mean, how, how can somebody accomplish that? It takes time. I mean, it's just not an overnight, hey, I want to go work uh, three hours a day and then, you know, take a, a five-day weekend. Uh, we have to implement, uh, we play long ball, have to implement systems, processes, strategies so that we can get those operations up and running almost automatically with a minimal amount of, um, you know, uh, of operations and working on them, the, the human touch. That frees up operators and entrepreneurs to then really focus their time on meeting with people and building those relationships. So you mentioned relationships being such an important part of your business, but once you have the relationship and you get the lead, you get the opportunity to do business, what's really your differentiating factor that sets you apart from other people in your industry? Being a really good listener. Um, going into a meeting and a relationship with no agenda other than I want to hear who you are, I want to hear what you're trying to do, and maybe I can help you, maybe I can't, and I'll be the first one to tell you if I can't. Um, but that is, I found, a very big plus on our side. We go in with no agenda other than to see if we can truly listen and become be of service to the individual. You know, so I've known this man for nearly over 20 years now, it feels like, uh, an eternity. And I will tell you, when you say not going in with an agenda, you're one of the few people I believe and I know that yeah. to be authentic and true. Thank There's you. no question this man is out there to build relationships and help you grow your business. And if that's the case, Sean, how would people get in touch with you to, uh, to help them grow their business? You could, uh, send me an email, sean at 12hourweek.com. Wonderful. Uh, well, yeah, hey, guys, 100th episode. So proud of that. Thank you. It's a century. We hit the century <laughs> mark, everyone. Uh, so for you and those of you out there, if you want to listen to the show in its entirety, go to shrimptankpodcast.com or download us on iTunes. And that was your post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank.